Alex left our shop two days ago and within what, like an hour? Yeah, about an hour. Within an hour, Alex gets pulled over and the first words out of the cop's mouth is, how tall is your truck? That fat ass back there. It's too early for me to be acting like this. So I'm strolling into work this morning, nice and early. Sun's starting to come out, so it's a nice, beautiful morning. You guys can't tell. Jake's truck's still messed up. Rear end's still blown out of it. My truck is still messed up. But, so we, we did this dually yesterday, right? All it came up here for was a cold air intake. We put an SMB cold air intake on this dually. Now, I didn't notice this until I was strolling into work this morning, dude, dude, just strolling in. One, this dually's pretty cool. I really like, I'm a huge fan of dualies. I like big, wide, you, you know me, you, you, you know me. So, I didn't notice until this morning that this dually has a McGoy's lift kit on it. Yes, I got pizza and sweet tea for breakfast today. Breakfast of fucking champions, right? And I'm trying to like hold the camera and move the camera at the same time. So if this clip is really bad, that's why. Cause I'm like, I got, I'm double fist in here. So McGoy's lift kit on the freaking dually. I'm digging this vibe right here. I'm digging this vibe. We got some uh, 24 inch fuel Mavericks with the Toyo MTs all the way around. Freaking vibes right here, man. Look at that. That fat ass back there. Damn. Shout out to you. Got a fat ass back here. It's too early for me to be acting like this. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. The hell is this, Chaz? 34s. Rucci forged. 34s. Holy shit. It's massive. It looks kind of good though. I bet Christina would like it if she saw it. Let's see what kind of tires. 305, 25, 34s. For, for the non-believers out there. Look at those fucking wheels. Holy shit. I wonder what kind of lift kits on this thing. Oh. Oh no. Chaz, no. It ain't bad though. It ain't too bad. What do y'all think? Y'all like the 34s? Ah, damn. So apparently Alex, you. Uh, this is the better Alex apparently because you have a lot better luck than I do. <laughs> Alex left our shop two days ago with the, with the brand new High Country, nine inch McGoy's lift kit, 26 14s. And within what, like an hour? Yeah, about an hour. Within an hour, Alex gets pulled over and the first words out of the cop's mouth is, how tall is your truck? Same, same case scenario for me. He ended up, uh, this is why I'm saying Alex is the luckier Alex. He didn't end up getting any tickets. No and I don't, you know, I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but his situation probably was going a little bit worse than mine, but he still got off. I ended up getting three different tickets that weekend. My guy here got pulled over for his truck being too tall and his tires being too wide. And the tent too dark. And the tent too dark. Say, literally, same exact case as me, except he didn't have his wheel lights on, so maybe, maybe that's what it was, I don't know. But the good thing here, the good thing is that he didn't get any tickets, which is, you know, shout out, shout out to God, you know, keep, keeping you safe out there. But the cops apparently don't like my guy shitting on him like that. I guess that maybe the cop was just a fan. He was a fan. Ma bro. The he cop was a fan. I'm he thinking that's, he didn't like the steez. That's my new word, steez. steez. He didn't like the steez over here. He didn't that's, like the bling. <laughs> that's crazy. What, where, was this in the middle of nowhere? Uh, it was, no, it was on, it was you on in a little 85. town or something? It was on 85. 85. Yeah. Okay. 75 or 85. Yeah, oh, 85. so it was it like was a major 80. highway? No, it was on 85. Yeah, it was on major highway. I was thinking it was like a back road or something, but y'all, y'all go show some love to my guy. The cops are hating on him out here, but we're always going to show love to my guy, Alex, at J Williams on Instagram. Beautiful truck. I'm, I'm sure y'all have, y'all have seen it way too much on my channel and I'm, I'm thumbnailing it again because one, it's a beautiful truck and two, I'm showing love to my guy because the cops are hating on him. So, right, and we got the same name, you know. Same name, yeah, absolutely. It's not, it's not very often I get another Alex on the channel. McGoy's lift kit set at nine inches, 2020 High Country, 26 by 14s, Gladiators, 37s, beautiful, beautiful truck. Got the Oracle wheel lights, Oracle rock lights. It, it doesn't get any better than that. But like I said, go show some love to my guy since the cops are hating on him. Vic, what'd you get done today? Um, so I just bought this truck yesterday. 
And so far, I've got a 9 inch lift, 22 by 14 fit of all these. And I've just got 12 more rock lights put on. 12 more rock lights. Maybe 24 total. Hell yeah. 24 rock lights. We got the color changing headlights. Or are they only red? Uh, no, they change colors. Hell They're yeah. faded right now. Red to orange. 24 rock lights. 24. Got Jay down there. Jay. A little sneak peek for you. Jay got a new Can-Am today. I'm filming a, a documentary series about it. So y'all go check that out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. But Jay's got some big shit coming. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's been a while since I've given you guys any kind of content away from Southern Tire. So tonight we're going to a truck meet. A little local truck meet. We'll maybe film some trucks and stuff out there. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know. Because I don't know if it will come up in the video. My Husky gets hair. Yeah, look at that. What the? F My husky just ends up getting hair all over the place, and it really, to be honest, it really gets annoying. There are certain jackets that I don't even take inside the house because if not, I know if they make it through the front door, it's going to be just ridiculous dog hair. But I do want to let you guys know. Can I set my camera up right here? Holy crap! Look at this. So look, look. I can actually fit my camera if I flip the screen up in this little like crack right here. Look how freaking convenient. Look how, holy crap. That's like the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So, I want to let you guys know that we are starting a kind of sort of a documentary series. Or I guess not starting. Well, yes, we did start it today. We started filming the documentary series. Jay Ford, Hellboy, the blue 2020 with the 2614s and the bumper up front. For those of you that don't know him, that's the truck I'm talking about. Thomas is calling me. Hello? Hey, what's up? Hey, are we going to that truck meet tonight? Yeah, I just got to Nick's house. We're about to go to my apartment. Oh, yeah, what's up? You want to meet me at my house at like 9 o'clock? Yeah, yeah, that works. All right, it's like 20 minutes from my house. Okay, do you know about Nicholas? This is going, we just passed him on the road. I have no idea. You should you should try and message him on oh. Instagram. I'll text him or call him. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, cool. All right, bye. Please. Truck meet tonight. Anyway, Jay, Jay Ford is his name. Shout out to Jay Ford. Awesome guy. Just got a new Can-Am Maverick. Uh, turboed, 200 horsepower. This thing's like dangerous fast. We're going to do a whole full documentary on his start to finish build on this Can-Am. And I'm super excited because I'm going to spend... So what we're going to do is I'm not going to post any videos about this. I'll post some updates in the videos here or there. But my goal is to film from start to finish and not release any of the content until it's done. And then I can release one 30 to 45 minute video of day one, day two, ordering parts, installing parts, taking it to the mountain, all these different things that he wants to do matching this Can-Am to his truck. And I'm really excited about it. So that's all the information I'm going to tell you guys because it is a work in progress. We just started filming. So it's going to be at least a month and a half to two months before that huge video releases. But I want to start working on more things like that aside from the daily videos because I know you guys appreciate the videos that take longer. You know, I like to associate YouTube with the music industry. You know, these, these artists, these rappers, these musicians put so much time and effort into a body of work, then release it. And I feel like you guys would appreciate not only the daily videos, but having a full body of work released maybe once a month or something like that. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. But I'm actually going to run inside and get some Chipotle. And I will see you guys when Thomas gets to my house. Ooh. Let me see the mullet. Let me see the mullet. Oh, this man fucks right here. <laughs> I pulled in first. Let me see. Let me see the hat. The hat yeah, twin. Have, uh, hey! Oh, I thought it was. I missed it. I don't know, but I'll probably. That's... Thomas, go ask. What? To ride it? Yeah, go ask. No, I would die. I'm gonna do it. That's gonna go ahead. I'll give you $20 for those. <laughs> Dude, 
was burning them. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today. We got a huge show in Atlanta today. We're bringing out the uh, guys from Southern Tire. We got a booth set up. We're going to have a couple really nice trucks come by, say hi, say what's up, show some love to the bread gang. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get this bread. This is bread baby. That's what I'm talking about.